Art is not always creating with a specific goal in mind. Today, it's all about painting what you hear and not exactly what you see. Joining us today, we have Dr. Dean. Uh, he is the art doctor, author of the new book, Creating Abstract Art, along with artists Ryan Job and Kim Engel. Nice to have you here with us. All right, this is a obviously every time you're here, we do a different art project. This one is especially unique because the artists are blindfolded. Tell us about this. Uh, well, they were blindfolded. I don't know why they did that, uh, but, <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, we've, we've worked with this before, but this project is really about having fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you, I came dressed to have fun, with and I kind of participated. Yes, exactly. Uh, you have paint on this. your face. I don't know if you know that, but oh. <laughs> you went a little crazy. Is You'll be able to see Dean dancing in just a bit. Good. But this is all about painting what you hear. So yeah. They, the artist listened to a music track and yeah. painted from there while being blindfolded. Yeah, this is one of the least technical things. It's just a notch above pin the tail on the donkey, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> as uh, long as they can find the paper to yeah, paint on. Yeah, but, uh, you know, it's uh, adults or people of any age uh, can do this and really have fun. And, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with something being childlike. And re, in, you know, enjoying that that experience. So um, we put together what well, you put together a, 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 a good soundtrack, which is uh, has a really nice rhythm and and so on. So um, so we l let's actually earlier we pre-recorded you creating art, mm -hmm. Ryan and Kim and Dean also danced along, mm -hmm. which we love, and we watched you create this art blindfolded while listening to the music. So let's take a look at that right now. So we're watching this in action and y you actually had no idea what the song was you didn't know what color you were choosing tell us about what it was like for you Ryan well it was um, you know I wouldn't, don't want to say <coughs> random I tried to kind of have a system to it but I knew I that I didn't know which colors I was picking so I just kind of tried to vary it and then go along with the rhythm of the music and just try to get your feeling into the feel of the music and kind of transfer that onto your paper. And what about for you, Kim? What was it like? For me, it's liberating, uh, impulsive, fun, playful, um, and you can drop inhibitions and just lighten up about everything. So, Do you find it therapeutic almost? Very therapeutic. Uh, again, you almost feel like dancing inside and out and exhibiting that on the paper and I would recommend it to anybody and everybody, even at a party, perhaps. So. Yeah, blindfold everyone, put some paper down. I mean, obviously, put some plastic on your walls, but you know, or head outside. Now, what was it like for you to take off your blindfold and see what you created? Um, it was interesting, that's for sure. I had, because you obviously have no idea, but I was uh, kind of pleased with what I saw. I was, during the whole process, you know, you're kind of uncertain because you don't know what you're making, but I liked it. Yeah, and what about you, Kim? Yeah, it's fun to see the outcome or the results, no matter what they are, and uh, yeah, it's a nice experience. And I think it's cool, too, for someone who was just watching to see how that music translates on paper. If I looked at, at what you created, I could totally see that music come through. But Dean, we were chatting earlier, and if you use a different sound, uh, like a waltz or classical piece, you'll get a totally different visual. Yeah, yeah, and, and again, there is no, such thing as this piece of music would look like that right and so I kind of like that uh, you know the differences that you can come up with but if we were yeah if we were playing a waltz uh, there would be more maybe marks like this uh, and uh, and again if we were playing and I got a Davida, uh, maybe going like that. Right. So I <laughs> think some it's, people don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I you think you danced it well just there. Yeah, that was really nice. But it, it is a really great way for kids as young as one to get outside, play some music, even you know if you don't have to be blindfolded, but to just create without having any rules. Yeah, and we we talked about kids from as as soon as. Any child can stick their fingers in paint. Of course, you can't stop them. Uh, <laughs> and even better to music. Uh, and uh, I think we discussed this. This is good all the way up to 
99 uh, and pushing 100. Uh, why not be a So it crosses girl? generations, do it all together at a party. Wonderful yeah. way to get outside, create art, and also just to have fun. It's mm -hmm. all about br yeah. bringing out the inner child in you. Thank you, Ryan and You're Kim, welcome. for being such great sports. You created amazing artwork. And Dean, it's always nice to have you here. Always nice to. And uh, I didn't know you had such great dance moves. I, well, I, I think next time we'll do a. a Arthur Murray. <laughs> <once upon. laughs> Thanks so much. Uh, yeah. And for all information, for more information, you can visit our website, mymassappeal.com.